Good evening YouTube, this is Kayleen Stern coming at you with my second video to, of the day. And today I want to show you an item that I actually got in a few days ago that I uh, ordered with my most recent Google payment. And I got this little thing because I wanted to test it out to see how well it would work for uh, a longer duration power outage like the one that Iowa experienced last summer when the derecho smacked the state and I was only relying on my power banks of course I was using my uh, my hotspot and my uh, my phone and the tablet to uh, get online I was able to use the internet but I was burning a lot of mobile data and I was burning a lot of my batteries but my uh, rechargeable flashlights were holding their own but what I wanted was something that I could connect a solar panel to that would be bigger capacity than the 10 waters that I got and I was using those but because my deck is shaded I don't get the kind of full sun that would be best for uh, solar panel but anyway what I have here is called a tack life it's an automotive accessory portable power station and I've opened it up just to make sure that all the parts are there and that there's nothing damaged in the box and that uh, it was fully charged and it was fully charged basically when I got it but anyway what comes in the box have the owner's manual just a little thing and you have this warranty card I throw this on the other side but this one is uh, smaller than some of the portable power stations that are out there it's smaller than the smallest rock pals or jackery or some of those others but you pay a lot more for those then there are two these two boxes in here sorry about the extra noise from outside there's someone honking I have my slider open so it says one and two and these are all the accessories that you get. This one is the adapter that would plug into some, you have a socket like this in a vehicle that is still commonly known as a cigarette lighter, but it's a DC power source. So you plug this into this type of socket in your vehicle and that's how you charge this. But you, your vehicle has to be running. Or if you have something that has this type of plug on it, another device, but you want it to run it off of the power station then you plug it into here and then you plug this into the power station input for instance you do this you can do this to actually charge the unit from your vehicle so that are these two items and then in this box are two more accessories. This is to charge it from a wall outlet or if you have a much larger generator, for instance a larger solar generator like, like the Energy Apex, Kodiak or the Flex or you have something like 
the largest of the blue eddies or you have a goal zero or any of those larger ones that has an AC plug in it you can plug it into there to charge the unit which I have already tested but it's fully charged I have not drained it yet and then the other accessory is this little LED USB light and I will go ahead and take it out of the sleeve Ziploc is pretty strong in this little bag which I like so it is bendable up to an extent like the book lights that I'm using to uh, give light to uh, the area right in front of my phone that I'm uh, filming this with but it's a standard USB now I'll actually put that there now I will show you the power station itself it comes in between two of these knock one of my book lights down let me fix that real quick there we go so this is it so on this side this is the power button to turn it on and you can see the display there it's fully charged and then this one see it the default when you turn it on is DC which would power the USB ports here or this one or these and then if you want to power these two outlets here then you hit the where it says AC and now you can see AC there you cannot use both AC and DC at the same time you have to switch between one or the other Especially, you can pass through charge on DC when you're charging the unit itself, but according to the instructions, you cannot pass through charge to the AC outlets. I will show you this here don't know uh, how well my uh, phone camera will focus on that Well, this just goes through the different functions what the what the cables do what the what the display shows and then back here is where where you would connect the solar panels you connect it to uh, this this is the input right here the solar panel that I also bought does not have the right connector for this but that's okay because I will be saving that 50 water for something else but I saw a solar panel online that has the right kind of plug that I can plug into here to charge this it's a it's a 30 watt panel and you have to you can only put a maximum 30 watts of input in here 
But uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and stick the slide in. I'll turn it on. Back here. And then on this side, I'm just going to pop in this light. Oops, I turned in. See, this light immediately turns on. So you can see if I, I bend it. It only bends so much, but it can bend a little bit. So it's kind of like a book light. And uh, some of the light actually comes out of here, which is kind of cool. But for an emergency light that you can redirect, and like some of the other power stations that have a fixed light, you can bend this. And you can also plug this into any other USB device. And here it shows DC out. This does not show a percentage of power going out, but it shows that there is DC out. And I just, this is not enough to drain this one dot. Each line on here is 25% power. I'll go ahead and turn that off. But these LEDs don't use a, a whole lot of power anyway. But since this works off of any USB power source, here's an old power bank. The display on this old thing does not work, but see, it still powers this light. So when I get my uh, stimulus money later this month, and according to what I have heard from uh, several sources, the president will sign the bill tomorrow. So apparently today it's being prepared to go to him for a signature. Tomorrow he'll sign it. And then next week the checks start kicking out to those who are eligible. And so... I will use it to buy a solar panel that I can use with this. Then I will buy another system that I can plug in my 50 watt Renogy panel that I currently have just sitting in the bathroom or in the bedroom. I have it still in the box. I inspected it because you know how FedEx and can be with uh, some things. But that will be another video for another day. So this is like nine less than a hundred dollars. So This is 167 watt hours. So this could power small appliances that do not have a huge power draw. You know, for instance, if I had a mini fridge that can be available to put in a vehicle, RV or something like that, or the kind that Iridium 242 has in his garage that he uh, keeps water in out there because, you know, he lives in the desert, it gets hot, so he needs a cold drink. Plus it's a backup for a, a power outage. You can run a CPAP off of this thing. You could run, uh, you could charge another, a smaller power bank off of this. So, I have been uh, wanting to get something that I can connect a solar panel to. That has the right plugs because I have a couple of 10 waters, but they uh, do not. They have 
a USB that's like this. You know, with this on one end and the micro USB on the other. No, it has a USB like this, which cannot go in into here. But I was looking at some, and I have chosen the one that I will get. So this will give me a little bit more backup power. I have a small electric heater that I brought with me from the place where I used to live, but I have not uh, put it to use yet, and uh, I don't know if this thing might not be able to power that, except for maybe a short burst. But since it's starting to get warmer, I'm not going to bother with that. I will be uh, testing other things off of this. I have my flat iron that I use to uh, seal my uh, mylar bags when I pack them. Yeah, plus I have some uh, battery chargers that need to be plugged into a wall outlet like that. You know, I have my, uh, I have a couple of floor lamps in my bedroom that I can plug into here to, to see how that works. And if I wanted to, I could take a, a power block that takes this and then puts it into something with a, U, with a standard 110 outlet plug like that and charge, say, this light off of instead of just using the USB if I had a, a wall plug you know converter block that takes this I could plug it into that thing and then plug that into here so this will get some testing later I bought this on uh, Amazon and they're still available for about like 96 some dollars with tax. Of course the tax in your state or uh, country or province will be different than it is here for uh, Iowa. But just call it, you know, like I'll just call it like $96. But this is an investment as well as an item that I want to test to see how well it will work for a small apartment. You know, this does not take up a whole lot of space. I cannot connect it to my deep cycle battery at this time, but that's okay because I'm going to work out something else for that. But I just thought I'd go ahead and show you this little thing right here and uh, it just weighs probably like six pounds or something like that so it's not too heavy not like the 30 some pounds that my deep cycle battery weighs but to me it's worth having some kind of backup power source because I cannot have a, a gas generator here I'm on a second floor I have a little deck and putting a generator out there would not give me the right distance from the building that I would want. And plus it makes noise and I don't want to uh, have that noise because I heard someone else's generator running last summer. But that person was not prepared with an extension cord to plug an appliance into that generator but I had a power strip. I'll be at a small one to spare, but I gave it to her and she was able to plug in her uh, appliance to uh, her generator so that she could keep the proper distance from the building to her first floor apartment. 
I didn't get that cord back, but I don't care. She is prepared now. And I have extension cords that I can run. So if I have this here, I can run an extension cord to my bedroom and plug a lamp in there and still have something else plugged into here and keeping it out here. So if I can find a link to this item on Amazon, I'll go ahead and add it because I can just copy it off of uh, my orders. I'll just pull it up like I'm going to buy another one and just grab the link for that and then pop it in the description. So you can look at it for yourself. And, and the tacklife.com has other items, power tools, and hand tools. You could order off of their site, but you can also find them on Amazon, and that's where I got this. So, Anyway, I hope this gives you something to think about, even if you don't buy this, because, you know, this is not a review. This is just, call it an unboxing, and to show that I will be testing this item to see how well it works for uh, someone who lives in a small apartment. Or you could have it in an RV or at a bug out location. So anyway, thanks for watching and catch you on the flip side.